Hello, my name is Joshua Tomsic, and today we'll be covering your MacBook Air keyboard. Now, what we'll be covering is what your keyboard will, what the keys will do functionality-wise, the layout of the keyboard, and some of the differences between the keyboard of a Mac and a keyboard of a Windows-based machine. This will be just a quick overview, and we will start here at the top right-hand corner with the power button. This is the button that will turn your machine on and or off if need be. The three keys beside the power button are your F10, F11, and F12. This F10 key is your mute, your F11 is your volume decrease, and your F12 is your volume increase. The three keys beside that are your F7, F8, and F9 keys. Now these control your iTunes application in regards to pause, play, rewind, or fast forward. The two keys beside those are your brightening of your backlit keyboard. Your F5 key will decrease the lighting of your keyboard, and the F6 will increase the lighting of the keyboard. So for instance, if you are in a well-lit room to where you can see your keys just fine, if you tap the F5 key, the light underneath the keyboard will be all the way decreased. If you tap your F6 key all the way up, if you are in a dark-lit room or not a very well-lit room, you can tap your F6 key and the light will shine bright underneath your keys, allowing you to see the keyboard in the dark. Your F3 and F4 key we will cover at a later date. Your F1 and F2 key are your brightening and dimming of your screen. Your F1 key dims your screen and your F2 key increases the brightness of your screen. Now, kind of a quick little hint with these two keys. If your key, if your laptop is plugged into power, I like to brighten my screen all the way up so I can see uh, as bright as it will go. I can see better, I think, if that's the case. Now, if I'm running on battery power, to optimize as much battery life as possible, I like to tap my F1 key until the bar on my screen goes down to about three-fourths of the brightness. This will also, con this is for conserving battery power and as well as I feel this is the most optimal uh, viewing for my eyes uh, in regards to working on battery. So it doesn't decrease any of the clarity for me, but yet increases and gives me a little bit better battery life. Now the next key that I want to cover is your delete key uh, below your F keys. Now this delete key uh, actually acts as both the backspace and the delete key on a Windows based keyboard. Now instead of two buttons they've combined them into one. So the delete key uh, if you just press it uh, without holding down any other button it will act as a backspace. So if you go ahead and press your delete key it will act as a backspace. Now, if you want this delete key to act as an actual delete itself, you can hold down your function button here in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and press the delete key. Now, this will then act as a delete, so it will move the cursor forwards instead of backwards. Now, below that uh, is your actual keyboard where really nothing changes caps lock shift, return, the other shift, your keyboard layout as in the letters uh, stays the same. What changes is your buttons beside the space bar. Where your Windows key used to be, it is now a command key. And this command key now represents and takes command over the control key in a Mac based platform. So if you, uh, if for example, if you like to copy and paste, you used to hit control C and control V. Instead now it will be taking place with command C and command V. And so that will, the command key takes precedent over the control key. So just another example, if you want to quit out of an application, instead of control Q, you will now hit command Q. Now the last key that I want to cover is your function key. This function key, just like I described in your del uh, with the delete key, uh, will represent the change in a function of a actual key. So example, if I want to reload a page, uh, what I can do is hold down the function key and press F5. Whereas if I were just to press the F5 key without the function held, it is going to decrease the brightness of my backlit keyboard. So holding down function and tapping your F keys here at the top will give you the original function of this F key setup. Now that was just a quick overview of the keyboard layout and what some of the buttons do for you. Please, if you have any questions or concerns, 
email us here at the help desk and we can then uh, move forward into any more training that is needed pertaining to the keyboard. I thank you and you have a wonderful day.